Hi friends, how's it going today? Today we are going to learn how to scale an image properly so that we can put it on our wall or our client's wall and see how it'll look before we order it um, in the actual size that they think that they want it or we think that we want it. So we're gonna take our blank living room wall that we have here. Now I've taken this photo from a natural viewing distance and that's what you're looking for. Um, my calves are touching the seat of my couch. I did stand up just so that the perspective would be a little bit better so I wasn't like shooting up at an angle. But I'm, I'm viewing this and I took this photo from where I'm naturally going to be viewing this wall. Um, I didn't walk up super close to the wall and take this because I want to, um, I want to see how it's going to look when I'm sitting there watching TV. I want to know how this photo is going to be over the screen. Um, so if your client's doing that, just kind of ask them for that, a natural viewing distance, um, see what you get. And um, so we also need to know the measurement of an object in the photo. Um, I usually try to opt for something fairly large. Um, if it's over the couch, maybe, hey, measure the whole back of the couch. If it's over the bed, hey, can you just measure the whole width of the bed? In this case, we're going to use the TV. Um, and I know that this TV is 53.5 inches across. And don't, don't think, oh, I have a 60-inch TV, so this measurement is 60. That's not correct because um, you're actually measuring outside edge to outside edge. Um, and so you just want to make sure everything is as close as possible so that your results are as accurate as possible. So we know from this outside edge to that outside edge is 53.3 inches. And now I'm going to measure this in Photoshop to see what it comes up with because uh, we need to use my scale calculator in Excel to um, figure out how we're going to crop everything. So I'm using my marquee tool. It's right up here. It's the little um, squares dotted lines. There we go. Um, if you hit the M key, it'll pop up. And if you don't have these tools up here, if you just go to Windows Tools and click that, I'll go back, Windows Tools, they should pop up. Um, again, if you just hit the keyboard shortcut M, you'll also get your little um, measure tool or marquee tool. So I'm just going to start the very outside edge right here. Um, I use Control minus and Control plus to zoom in. There we go. I'm just going to click right here. I'm going to drag all the way across and we have a width of 4.7. I'm getting that number um, from this little black box to the top right of where my little marquee tool just marked. So 4.7 is my width. I'm not concerned with the height. We didn't measure that. And so now I'm just going to run over to Excel and I've actually already input these numbers 53.5 and 4.7. There we go. Um, this is your scale. We don't need to worry about it. So I'm just going to hide that. There we go. Oh, and if you need a copy of this scale calculator, just send me an email, Gretchen at GretchenOtero.com, and I'll send that over to you. One other thing I do need to check in my image. I'm going to hit Control D to deselect, and I'm going to go image, image size, and see my resolutions at 300. Um, it might be 72, it might be 96, just depending, it might be anything actually, just depending on where you got this photo from. Um, I got this out of my camera, so it's at 300 um, PPI, sorry. So that is a number we need, and we'll just say okay. And I usually just put it down here so that I, I know what it is because we're going to need it later, and maybe I'll forget. So it's there, and these are the crops that we'll use. So if we wanted to make a 16 by 20, we're gonna use these two dimensions. If we wanted a 40 by 20, we could use these two dimensions. Um, just for ease, I have gone ahead and screen snipped this right here so that we can look. So here's where it gets fun. Um, maybe it's you, maybe it's a client, and they're like, I would like to hang a 16 by 20 on my wall because I think that's gonna be grand and great and really make me happy. And I'm like, okay, that's cool. Let's see how it'll look. Maybe it'll be cool. So I'm just gonna make that small, and now we went 16 by 20. So I'm gonna grab my crop tool right over here. The keyboard shortcut is C for that. And then up here, there might be numbers filled in, there might not. If there are, just hit clear, and we're gonna type in our own numbers. So our width here is gonna be 1.757, and I got that from right here. And our 16 is gonna be 1.406. 
And then right here is going to go our PPI, so 300. If this is off, then your whole thing is going to be off. All right, and then this is offering me a crop preview. That's perfect. I hit double click, make that small. And then let me see if I can park that up there. So I'm going to say Control A to select all, Control C to copy. I'm going to go over to my blank room. I'm going to get rid of that. And I don't like having the crop tool selected because it's always in my way. So I'm just going to click that. Um, but anyways, I hit Control A to select all, Control C to copy. I go over here, Control V to paste. And boom, that's how a 16 by 20 is going to look in this space. So we can see it's a little over un underwhelming. Um, it's not exactly the look or feel anybody's going for. So let's just try another one. We're just going to do um, 40 by 30. So I'll pull my screen snip over here. Um, you could just recrop this, but your resolution is going to be degraded. So I'm just going to go back up to open. I'm going to hit C for crop. There we go. Width 3.514 by 2.636. All right, there we go. We're gonna lose lose a little of the top or a little of the bottom with this different um, ratio, but that's okay. So we crop this. Control A, Control C, over here. I hit Delete to get rid of that sixteen by twenty wall, and Control V to paste. And then if you hit the V key again, you can grab your Move tool and just move it right up there. So now we can see the 40 by 30, of course, way better than the little 16 by 20 we had earlier. And um, if you wanted to put a frame around it, there's, there's other ways you could do this. But if you just need like an idea of how a frame could possibly look, I went down here to my layers palette. I'm double clicking there. I'm just going to say, not texture, stroke. On the outside and then that's I mean kind of an idea of how a frame would look on it there's other ways maybe we'll get into that later but that's uh that's good enough for this so if you have any questions definitely reach out to me Gretchen at GretchenOtero.com or drop them below in the comments I'd love to help you guys if you need a video on something specific I'm always happy to jump in and help wherever I can and um, oh don't forget to like subscribe and share with your friends thanks so much for watching guys have a good one bye bye